In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at using the vector artwork we have here to create a 3D sign. The 3D sign will have a textured background in it. The textured background comes from, if I switch over to the 3D view, a 3D relief file of a texture that has come from our Relief Clip Art Library. Our Relief Clip Art Library has about 500 models currently available in it, which can be used within ArtCam Express, Insignia and Pro and machined as you will see here. If I switch over to the 2D view, I've got all of my artwork pre-created for me. I'm going to select this vector here, which has also selected this vector around the text. They're grouped together. I've pre-grouped all of the vectors together in this demonstration. And I'm going to come over to the Machine Relief tool. From the Machine Relief tool, the Area to Machine, I'm going to select, not whole, but selected vectors and inside of these vectors. I have the option to do a Finishing and a Roughing tool but I'm just going to use the finishing toolpath, select this and select three millimeter bullnose tool. I'm then going to select calculate now. If I switch over to the 3D view, you'll see that everything within this vector has been calculated. If I close this down, select my machine relief and select simulate. What we will see is that our text is left raised slightly and our rock texture is in the background. If I now switch over to the 2D view and select this vector here which has got other ones grouped within it and come back to my toolpaths tab and select my b-bit carving tool using the selected vectors and limiting my tool to a maximum depth of 10 millimeters and using a carving tool of a 32 millimeter 90 degree tool it's going to be carve anywhere within this area itself if I just select calculate now if I close my arrow down and click on VBIT carving followed by simulate will put a nice edge around my design for me VBIT carving in between any of those gaps to leave my village in text standing out more clearly. To finish this design off, if I come over to my 2D view and select my outer vector here, what I can now do is come to my toolpaths select a profiling tool itself and make sure I'm on outside selected vector finish depth it's going to be 15 millimeters which is the full depth of my material I'm going to select end mill a 12 millimeter end mill tool followed by calculate now but just before I do that, I'm going to add a bridge to the start. And I'm going to add that bridge as a length of 3 millimeters and a thickness of 3 millimeters. And I'm going to calculate this now. Onto the 3D view, if I close this down, select this, and followed by simulate, it will cut out our sign for us.
there we have our finished village inside in which we can save the toolpaths out by selecting toolpaths right click save toolpaths as and we can either push them all into one area if we have a machine with a tool changer or we can do one at a time and select from our tool list of whatever our machine is and select save to save it to our location.